Hello, Internet to Design is your octave, and this is Let's Play Dark Sun. I'm as your octave, and we're talking to a spider right now. Um, stop! What do you want here? The outcast sent me to end the curse. I thought I heard his voice. I'll let you pass, but any hostility will mean your death. Do you swear not to bother any of the spiders in this area? Yeah. Here, let me spin you a talisman. It will prove to the others that your intentions are peaceful. Still, you must visit Queen Chi Smacktuck on the north northwest sides of Darkhold. She will be highly displeased to find you wandering about without her permission. Whatever you do, though, avoid the fungus groves. The dark spiders caught there have become evil. Is there anything else you need? Who are you? What's going on in the fungus groves? Many of the dark spiders who enter the curse groves are enslaved by the ancient's curse. They attack even their closest friends now. The outcast says the ancient source of power is, a cham is the chamber to the northwest. Uh, what do you know about the ancient's curse? Only that many who entered the cavern of the ancients were killed. If that symbol in the cavern floor isn't warning enough, let me tell you to watch your step. Uh, who are you? Sure, Tick Tuck is my name, Prince Chick Tuck. Tunk. <clears throat> and I are helping the outcasts establish trade between the spiders and the folk. If nothing is done about the ancient's curse, though, we'll never succeed. Tell me about the prince. He drives a little red Corvette and. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know enough prince songs to make that funny, apparently. Prince Chick Tuck does not haste the folks. No hate the folk like the queen, he would rather work and trade peacefully with them. Many besides myself see the truth in Prince Click Tuck. Words, his is a truly noble spirit. Why do you want to trade with the folk? Yeah, thanks for the help. Goodbye. I already know that. Goodbye and good luck. We're counting on you to end the ancient's curse. Okay. There's... Let's take a look here. Let's actually, uh, who has the, Check Taktar somehow got the most in a Con 14 as opposed to Con 15, uh, got the most hit points. i like to try and dispel that if I could. Um, we're going to save the game before I do that though. That's not the right number, I don't care. <laughs> um, come on. Okay, so we're going to get you, Tamarin, a little bit closer, and we're going to hit your Dispel. Where is it? Dispel Magic. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> we'll keep her in the back. She'll be fine. She likes it. <laughs> All right, bash it down. Oh, my God. Uh, what's in here? Open. What's this? Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, this is a ring. This is Nagi's journal. Alright. Uh, don't ask me why I did that. I just remember from, like, youth that that's the direction that you're supposed to go to start out with. Um, this has an unknown effect. It's usable by everybody. And this needs to be memorized by Tamarin. You learn the spell. I don't think I can miss now. Martok. Mm, written by a sorcerer named Nagi. The journal is yellowed with age. You scan... Oh, you scan the first line of several entries. Tara's evil attracted the entity. Tara's evil attracted the entity. Worse still, the entity... Martok's reading this. The entity has possessed the fungus. I summon the fungus I summon and is able to stay on this plane. Ooh. My one sol solace is that the fungus attacks Tara as readily as me. I have learned so much. I have learned so much. The retreat into the caves beneath my castle was a wise decision. Huh. <clears throat> my followers and I discovered powerful summoning magics. We'll soon be strong enough to reclaim the castle. Uh, okay, the inner eye is broken. The inner eye has been broken. My sister, Tara, is too hungry for power and, I, and demands I submit her to her whims. Never! It is I who should rule the inner eye. 
I swear Tara will be defeated. <clears throat> I found a way to summon the creature immune to her spells, an animate fungus. Now that freckle, feckless witch I will know my wrath, but not my mercy, entombed alive. I would gladly die, but not like this. I am drained of my powers, and too weak so much as to break bread. In ignoble end, I will find a way to gather my strength and revenge, avenge my disgrace. My talismans are a boon twice over. Not only do they blind the fungus to our presence, but the entity seems to actually shrink from it. A more powerful necklace will certainly rid us of the entity. The golden star pendant is finished, which we actually just picked up. The golden... Yeah, as soon as the rune forged metal is cooled, my followers will use it to steal the entity deep in the mountain's heart. I will breathe easier with that menace gone. My bid to lead the inner eye failed. <clears throat> Balked by my own dear sister. She will pay for her treachery, I swear it. I was blind to, rust to trust her. Should have known she con coveted the leadership when she urged me to wait. My death is near. Nothing left to eat and too weak to care. I have one last thing to do. A parting gift for my sister. Parting gift for my sister. My last breath shall chill Tara's very bones. Okay. What's this? Carved deeply into the wall is a message with runes drawn about it. A curse on my sister, so long as my bones endure, so shall Tara find her followers suffer everlasting life. Death which she so freely gave me is denied her blackened soul. I, Nagi, make it so. Number one. <laughs> Alright, so we have talismans and a bunch of red slads to deal with now. Uh, we don't need to put those on just yet. Let's hide them in a box right here. I have so many... No, don't make tech tech tar computer control. That's not what I asked. <laughs> Come on, no. Ha! Alright, Nagi's journal. Let's put this over here and with the rest of this stuff. Grapes. Uh, fine, whatever, don't care. <laughs> Uh, Martok, you should go... Ooh, skulls, get! I have two heads. That's how you get a head in life. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm such a bonehead. I... Uh... Alright, let's take care of these guys. Ow! Oh my gosh! Uh... Ten... Yeah, these... We'll, we'll, we'll take care of these guys. Yeah, they're not gonna be a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, Martok, try to finish him off, or not, that's fine too, um, uh, Magic Missile, that's always good, uh, more Magic Missile, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I might hook up my old Nintendo too, I'm just still kind of musing about what exactly I'm going to do after this. I don't know. Yeah. If I'm able to actually... Uh, Martok, wait for Brakilda to get out of the way. Are you like... Uh, Brakilda, dead. No, you're out cold. Gee whiz. Uh, you were terrible. <laughs> 10, 14. Yeah, you're good. Alright, so... Hmm presents us with a problem. Uh, oh, you're... Oh, you're not okay. Uh, try to heal her up a little bit, check tac tar Two? Nope, you're done. Well, let's save as 88, or 89 actually, I think we're up to 89. And try crossing the threshold of this thing again. Save. Oh, it takes so long to save. Alright, actually, we're gonna head down here, cause... Come on. Yes, I tried to climb down the cliff. Falls the cave. Ow! <laughs> it's fine, we're gonna walk up to this guy's place and rest. Inzy winzy, up we go. Party rests, and then we head back up. That's gonna become more and more difficult as, um... Ow! Don't... Uh, no. 
Use the rope. Yes, we want to climb up the cliff. Yeah, imagine that. With a rope, we managed to climb up. No problem, no problem. All right, so I'm Mr. Octave. We will continue this tomorrow. Catch you then.